Mm -hmm. For all of that, he was once known for his luscious locks, bulging biceps and taking on the Travelator. Now, though, James Crosley, a.k.a. Hunter, has swapped gladiators for gongs. He started a new career in wellness and he joins us now. Good morning Good morning. To you. Good morning. And How are you? Yeah. Good, thanks. Well styled. Thank you very much. So, from pumping iron to pumping gongs, pumping James, gongs, how did, what, what, what happened? I went to Bali on a yoga retreat mm. and I ended up in this gong bath kind of by mistake. I thought it was a, a tour of a pyramid because it was a gong bath in a pyramid and I got in there and there was all these gongs and mattresses and I had this gong bath and I had literally the best sleep of my life. I felt so relaxed and there was 200 people coming in every hour. Wow. And I just thought, there's got to be something in this. And I came back to England and there wasn't really man many gong baths around. And I, I ended up going to the College of Sound. I studied for two years in sound oh, wow. therapy. Lockdown came and I was playing didgeridoos and chimes just for something to do. And then I ended up only uh, opening a teacher training school to train people to become gong practitioners. And it's really taken off. So describe to us what a gong yeah. bath is and what it does to you mentally. So you don't get wet for a start. <laughs> a lot of people, they turn up with towels. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. You're bathing in the sounds and the vibrations. Okay. So all you do is you lay down in a very relaxed, comfortable position. You maybe set an intention for something. You do a little bit of breathing to get yourself into that rest and digest parasympathetic nervous system. And then you just lay there and the sounds wash through your body. Okay. Now, if you imagine the brain waves start to slow down, the vibrations, one of my favorite phrases is the issues in the tissues. You're storing stress, you're storing emotions, and all these things vibrate at a slightly different pace. And what the gongs do, they wash through the body, the, the lion of vibration, and bring everything up. So this is why you can have such a good night's sleep. You can be, feel so rested. You can feel stress just disappearing out of your body because you've retuned yourself. I, now, you love your yoga, don't I you? I love yoga. I've tried yoga. a little bit of yoga, and I can't get on with it, particularly because yep. the, the pace of it is too slow yep. for me. I've tried a bit of meditation, and I last about 10 seconds before my mind's whizzing, and I'm just distracted, and I'm all everywhere. I, I, I mean, the idea of this sounds great. I just don't think it's going to fit for me, though, Jack. I was exactly the same, right? I tried to meditate. I couldn't. Bear in mind, I'm an ex-bodybuilder, an ex-gladiator, an ex-strongman. <laughs> Playing gongs, it doesn't make sense, does it? But the reality is that there's something in it. And what it does, the sounds almost put you into a forced meditation. And it creates this uh, arena, if you like, for the body, which just helps you meditate. And it's, it's not like just lying there. We have a monkey mind. Let's just accept we're wired to have yeah. a monkey mind. But you just have to accept that and shelve it. And relaxing is a skill. Yeah, it's it's like going to the gym. Yeah. You can't just be a relaxed person. You have to practice it, practice at it. But if you persevere and practice with meditation, mindfulness, working on yourself, yeah. it can be life-changing for sleep, stress, anxiety, all aspects of your health. And this actually isn't a new thing, is it? It's not like a new fad. It it's sounds a, fad, it doesn't, but it it's does, been around, yeah. but it's like an ancient ritual almost. Well, gongs have been around for hundreds of years in different kind of ways. I mean, they were used to, to warn people for battle. They were used to get rid of ghosts and all kinds of things. But I think kind of as gong baths, as we know them now, were around in the 60s. There was a guy called Don Conroe, who's known as the godfather of gong. Hmm. And he kind of brought it to life. But it's really become a huge thing. And the classes are just so busy. And people have, I mean, experiences you wouldn't believe. You couldn't make up what people come out with. I've had people go back to past lives. People have childhood traumas completely brought up and then the wow. next week had the best week of their lives. So you can regress people while you're doing this? It's, it's about practising. It depends. The girl who did that had been to India on a breath retreat and she was very spiritually tuned, tuned in. in. So it's yeah. not, you're not going to lie down there and suddenly be in Egypt. OK, that's a relief. <laughs> that's a relief. Don't worry about that. Can we talk about some of Because this is all your gear. What are yes. these gongs that you've got here? So I've got three gongs with me today. In fact, should we have a go? Yes, yes. definitely. Right. So uh, I've got three gongs. This is a hand pan. A and hand I pan. tend to do uh, different instruments along with it. So this is kind of okay. a nice way to finish. So just lay yourselves down. Oh. We're doing this on live TV. <laughs> close your eyes. <laughs> Got to close our eyes as well. Okay. Take a moment. Is everyone going to run away? No, no, no. Ready? And just maybe take a moment to track down the body any way you'd be holding stress, like you with your hands, your jaw. Soften everything. This is so Take weird. a few deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale through the nose. Relax, keep those eyes shut.
slowly getting your breath back and try not to laugh. Sorry. <laughs> I saw you looking through one eye. Gently take a big stretch. So a normal class would be about 45 minutes. Yeah. But obviously... That felt to, about 45 to... minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... I, I, sorry, I'm going to say... Uh, your playing was amazing. It's beautiful. I mean, it's this, obviously not the thing? right environment to be fully relaxed. No, no. no it's not. Especially no. in a live TV it. studio. But, but that, it was beautiful, though. The gongs, I, I'm, I'm very, I'd love to come and do a proper class, James, where I could properly relax, cos I can't, and I just wanted to know what you were doing. <laughs> so <laughs> did I, I peeked at you. Did, did you? you peek at uh, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of peeking going on. What <laughs> Can I, this? You want to try you... it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So... This I... is a hand pan, so this is, like, handmade. So you and 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 each of these is, is it a little bit like um, uh, like a steel drum? Yeah. So it was uh, originally from the steel drum. Somebody in Switzerland decided to put a lid on top of it. Yeah. And thought actually this makes a really nice sound. But yeah. This is a really meditative one. It's like a, a deeper hand pan. So they come in different keys. Stop I really it. like this one. If you play that top middle note. Ooh. Yeah. It's got a really that's beautiful feel that. So the different again the different resonances and the different sound. Different people will react differently to them, so it's nice to mix it up with gongs, crystal bowls, hand pans, didgeridoos. So you can create either just a pure gong bath or a sound bath. You're like completely addicted. You're just so addicted to this. I, th aren't I think because you? I had it, you know, I was very addicted to, to fitness, yeah. and strength, and, and I had to move that somewhere else. Yes. And so music is really where it's gone. So I love yeah. the musicality of it, and obviously I love how it makes me feel as well. Yeah. The tones of this are so soothing as well. Do you want to have a go on the gong? Yeah. Yes. Do I have to put a loincloth on? No loincloth <laughs> required. Well, I, a little bit like, like <laughs> Metro Goldwyn Meyer. Shall we? Shall we put it out to the viewers? What's <laughs> right. yeah. You okay. can scan them. Okay. Give me a little tap. A and little just, one. Just gently start. Yeah, it's not like the you know the the, 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 yeah, the start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just gently start tapping. <gasps> That's mine. That. Let's listen to yours. Yeah, you can give it chanting. That's the start of the Lion King. That's the Lion King. I thought she was going some organic oh, chant, yeah. and then I realised... And are these the same tone? Yeah. These two are the same. These are satin gongs, so these are uh, tuned gongs. And if you're into though. astrology, it's, you know, that's another way you can look at it with satin, which is a very nice gong for moving forward in situations. This is a pasty... Um, symphonic gong. So these are tuned to a note and these are a bit more, the notes are a bit more airy, if you like. But it's really nice to mix them up. And you keep all of these in your house and you practice all the time? My house is like a bring and buy sale. I mean, it's, <laughs> honestly, it's embarrassing. Like, people come round, they're like, there's gongs, there's hand pans, there's crystal bowls, there's didgeridoos, and they're a bit like, where do you sit? Now, you what know? about your neighbours? Uh, uh, they love it. <laughs> yeah, they absolutely love it, my neighbours. So they, they actually, my neighbour messaged me yesterday. She said, I wondered if my son could have hand pan lessons off you because she can hear me practicing. So, Amazing. Yeah, I think they seem to really enjoy it. But once you get going with the gongs, they're not actually that loud. They're kind of a little. Well, a the idea, yes, because the idea is yeah. it's a gentle it's sort a of gentle thing. Well, the, actually, our instinct is to whack <laughs> it. Because yeah. we've got two boys as well. Give so it that's some whirling. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, the, the, so can you do your circular breathing with the didgeridoo? Yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. Oh, but that wow. was, again, that was a lockdown thing, because I, you know, what, is, what did you do in lockdown? Well, I looked after two small people. Yeah, play and practice a lot of juggling. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Are you a good juggler? Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally, yes. we just got really good at juggling. So I think there were certain skills that a lot of people... People either did nothing or they created new skills, yeah. didn't they? And for me, that's that's really where I blossomed in sound therapy, because I had, what, two years? Yeah, of course. Of just right, and, I, and I was like, um, right, I'm going to do two hours a day of whatever, whether it's half an hour on the didgeridoo, half an hour on the chimes, half an hour on the gong, half an hour on the hand pan. And then by the end of it, I was like... <laughs> 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 now he's the Lion of King. London. <laughs> <laughs> breathing in and breathing out at the same time. It's, it's amazing. James, thank, thank you so you. much Lovely for that. You, I know it wasn't the right setting, but no, it, was, no, no. it was brilliant. Really It's good. an amazing sort of introduction yeah. to it. I do get in touch with us. Let us know if you've had an experience of a gong bath. Mm. Maybe James is hand panning uh, regressed you at home somewhere. And you're on my back somewhere. to Egypt. <laughs> let us know. Exactly. Send us a postcard. <laughs> amazing stuff. Uh, right then, up next, it's warm 